Spring has sprung and flowers are bursting into bloom everywhere in Southern California. Join me today as we talk about the best blooms and where to find the best garden events in Southern California. Hello, I'm Anna Harris and this is my channel, California Garden Goddess. Welcome or welcome back. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe if you want to be notified of all the garden events happening here in Southern California. This week I visited two of the best public gardens in Southern California. So we're going to do a quick tour of those beautiful blooms. And I've mentioned a bunch of times already, but now is a really, really good time to get to Descanso Gardens because it is time for tulips. Along with the super blooms, I'm going to also be talking about garden events that are happening this week. Um, it is supposed to rain this weekend, but don't let that dampen your poppy fever. It's still a good time to go see other flowers. The poppies will close up if it's cold, if it's raining, if it's windy. So just so you know that, you know, poppies, they do, they're a little bit temperamental. In the desert of Anza Borrego, there's actually a natural phenomenon that goes on during a super bloom. Uh, all of these different sphinx moths will come and visit the flowers and lay eggs. And so when those caterpillars hatch, they just start eating and destroying all of those flowers. So the flowers aren't going to last for that long out there. But what will be really cool are watching all the different hawks. Now they're called Swanson's hawks or um, actually hawk moth, they're hawk moths. So they actually will just come and eat all of these caterpillars. So it's a really fascinating phenomenon to see, but the flowers won't be there forever. Now, if Anzaburg is a little bit too much of a trek for you, you can also go to some places that are probably closer to home for you. Now, Placerita Canyon Nature Center, that's in outside of Santa Clarita. So if you're in like Northern Los Angeles County, this is a good option for you to visit. Right now, the Canyon Trail is going to be closed because of all the rain we've been getting. The water's really high, so it's just not a good time for uh, that trail. But you can also take the Ecology Trail and there's tons of flowers blooming over there. Some of the flowers include wild California lil lilacs or ceanothus, popcorn flowers. You can also see purple nightshade and a bunch of different blooms are happening out there. If you're in Orange County, I recommend visiting the Environmental Nature Center in Newport Beach because you can find a bunch of flowers blooming there and it's a lot closer than all these other places if you live in Orange County. So you're going to be able to find gorgeous shades of yellow with brittle bush, Bladder pot and Palmer's Indian Mallow at the Environmental Nature Center. You're also going to see California Wild Lilac, that's a blue. The pinks of the Western Redbud, Buckwheats, and Coral Bells really make a gorgeous palette. In the Inland Empire, if you want to visit some flowers out there, Crafton Hills Preserve, which is outside uh, right by Crafton Hills College, there are signs of spring with wild California lilacs blooming, miner's lettuce, rancher's fiddle neck, and golden yarrow. Under the oak trees, you can find cliff asters, western blue eyed grass, wild canterbury bells, wishbone bush, tufted poppies, red maids, and southern bush monkey flowers. Now, if it's too hard for you to get out to these wild places, there are some garden events happening. Yeah, this week, this is the first week that Descanso Gardens is open until 7 p.m. So you can catch the golden hour. Golden hour is the hour before and after sunset. And that's just the best time to take photos of flowers other than California poppies. If you're by the San Diego area, Carlsbad Flower Fields might be a really good choice for you this weekend because they have a lot of fun events going on. Now on Friday, Descanso Gardens is going to have a fun event called Cultivate on Friday from 4.30 until 7 p.m. And if you visit them, you're gonna have uh, a DJ in the gardens, workshops, and live demonstrations. So that'll be a fun event and it's free with your admission. On Saturday, there's a bunch of stuff happening at the Carlsbad Flower Fields. There's a picnic and flowers, which is fun. That's both Saturday and Sunday. That's from 11 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. You can picnic among the flowers. It's gonna cost you about 70 to $140. Now, some free events at the Carlsbad Flower Fields with admission includes Kids Day on Saturday. That's from 11.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And they're gonna have BMX performances, giant bubble making, ballooning, professional yo-yo competitions, and face painting and more. So that should be a lot of fun for you and the kids. And on Saturday and Sunday, Carlsbad's gonna be having live music both days in the afternoon, so from one to five. On Saturday, it's gonna be called Salinergy and that's all this favorite jazz music. And then on Sunday, it's going to be the Derringers, and that is a San Diego-based band. They're gonna be playing Good Times Blues, 
boogie and early rock and roll music. So it should be fun. Both of those music events are free with admission. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to catch more fun garden events in Southern California. Catch you in the next video. Bye.